Hey, how's it going, you guys? This is Spyderco64 back here again with another NASCAR race review. What I got for you guys today, and that is the most recent Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series race that have just took place, and that is the 2019 Toyota Owners 400 from Richmond Raceway. So, with that being said, let's just get straight into the video. So, going into Richmond. This was going to be the final short track race until the Bristol night race. So for all of us NASCAR fans that love short track racing to death, we had to enjoy this race while we can. And in terms of racing that we had in Saturday night's race, I don't know about you, but I think, but for me, Richmond is kind of my least favorite short track we go to on the schedule. And oh, by the way, some people will even say it's not even a short track. It's a three quarter mile when okay i'll when um literally um anything close to a three-quarter mile is a short track you know and stuff like that and people also say new hampshire is a short track no it drives like a short track but really it's not a short track it's a one mile racetrack it's martinsville on steroids basically but just getting back into the main point of the video so um yeah so kevin harvick started on pole in tonight's race fell back and then Cobbush took the early commanding leads of the race. He basically won stage one. And since then, not much really happened. Not even much really happened in stage number two. Other than um, Joey Logano trying, uh, challenging Martin Trix Jr. for the stage win. And Martin Trix Jr. did not get that stage win. And Joey Logano won stage two. So in the first half of the race, like the first two stages, nothing really happened. I mean... <clears throat> Like, stage one looked like it was just going to be Kyle Busch winning Richmond again, you know, and stuff like that. But, I mean, that did not happen. And then, and then short, Kyle Busch also got a pit road speeding penalty as well. And he never recovered from that. He never made it back to the front. He did not, was even in the front at all at that point of the race. So... Yeah, so it was a pretty uh, tough day for Kyle Busch. But for all of us fans, it makes us happy and stuff like that. Plus, I mean, hey, he's still the points leader, so it doesn't really affect him that much. But we're going to talk about the final two, the final stage of the race. The final few lengths of the race was the best part. I mean, just so Martrix Jr. was in. So, Martrix, so after Martrix Jr. took the lead away from Brad Keselowski, which, oh, by the way, Brad Keselowski was also pretty good in this race, too. But just the deal was that that um was that it always seems like that Brad Keselowski it looks like he's about to win at Richmond but then the car just goes away or something like that. And I remember that specifically happened in the fall um playoff race where I mean he could have maybe I don't know won the won it but I mean I'm not really so sure you know what happened there. So just the final few laps of the race where Clint Boyer was slowly catching Martin Truex Jr. You know, I mean, on edge. And oh, by the way, just the lead was just closing in and in and in with Joey Logano also trying to creep in from the back of the 78, from the, the 19 of Truex. So, I mean, yeah. And then it was the white flag lap. Joey Logano got passed around Clint Boyer. And oh, by the way, I was honestly thinking Clint Boyer was going to pass Martin Trix Jr. At this point, but on the final lap, Joey Logano tried everything he could. If you could have gone up, and I was really kind of concerned as to either will Joey Logano actually, will he actually, you know, dump Truex this time around? Because I really wouldn't really considered the Martinsville deal a dump, but really I would actually consider that the way Logano races on short tracks, I would really think he would have to dump someone for the win. But that did not happen. And Martin Truex Jr. at a turn four wins the Toyota Owners 400 and wins his first short track race in his career in the Cup Series. So for once, Martrix Jr. has does not win on a mile and a half. This time, he wins on a short track. Which, by the way, I would have to consider... Which, by the way, just Richmond is one of his best tracks. And I would have to... And he would think that he would... That he would um, finish pretty... That he would uh, win... Or, would, that he would pretty... Um, dominate there but i mean yeah just and plus here's just also something else i knew i predicted martrix jr was gonna win but then again this is a race where he has the best car and then he doesn't win the race but this car he didn't even have the best car i don't think you know i think the driver had the best car was possibly maybe kyle bush or maybe joy logano 
hell, me, hell, maybe even Clint Boyer. But yeah, just it was just a great drive by Martin Strix Jr. And honestly, every time I think just I every I don't know why, but every time Truex wins a race, I just get pretty much all excited. I mean, I was very excited for Truex to get the win at Richmond. Obviously, you know that uh for you know obviously at that time. So I mean, yeah. So Martin Truex Jr. wins the uh, Toyota Nurse Four Hundred. He is in the playoffs, and now just uh that was it. So in short, for this race as a whole. I would have to really give it a uh, possibly maybe an eight out of ten. I mean the final. I mean the final stage was great, but just the first two stages were just meh. I mean there was only two. I mean there was only two big things to happen in the race. Kyle Larson. I'm having so much bad luck. I mean I'm, I swear I'm questioning Kyle Larson's luck right now. I mean he. I mean he had a teammate contact with Daniel Hemrick in the on stage one. I think it was, and then he blew a tire and hit the wall and. Yeah, that ended his day or his night pretty early on. What else? Michael McDowell also hit the wall pretty hard as well. So, I mean, yeah, two similar incident, inc- incidents. But, I mean, yeah. And also, Chase Elliott had a really, really bad race. I would have to be very honest. I mean, even, I mean, I think after he popped, I mean, I don't even think he was going to have a good car because usually he just is not that good at Richmond. I'll be very honest. I mean, Bristol was, the, I think, the only good shot he had of winning a race. Well, you know, Martinsville, Martinsville, actually, my bad. So, yeah, overall, I would rate this uh, an 8 out of 10 race. The Xfinity race was okay. Cole Custer won instead of Christopher Bell, so that's pretty good. For the other races that happened this weekend, the IMSA race at Long Beach was great. So, I mean, yeah, that uh, GTLM finish, that was just fantastic, fantastic. And uh, the IndyCar race at Long Beach, the Long Beach Grand Prix, it was okay. I mean, Rossi basically dominated the whole race. And oh, by the way, I, well, I'm still confused about the IndyCar's call about the, or Scott Dixon's um, protest on um, Graham Ray Hall and him blocking, which, I mean, it was not really even a purpose block. I will talk more about this in the podcast, but I mean, I feel Graham Ray Hall. Should still be on the podium. I mean, honestly, something else I also have to, to also just point out is I absolutely hate it when drivers sometimes bitch to the race officials. I just really, really hate that. I mean, seriously, like one time Kevin Harvick protested about a uh, bit, uh, uh, was said to, to give a penalty to Martin Tricks Jr. in a Kentucky race where he passed him on pit road or something like that. And there's also something else. I mean, in F1, it happens all the damn time. Where, I mean, yeah. Also, the F1 race this weekend. I mean, F1000. I mean, for, for Formula 1's 1000 race, I mean, it was just uh, Lewis Hamilton uh, passed Valtteri Bottas on the first lap. And then um, it was just anyone's race. And then it was just his race. No one could even contend for him. Only thing that happened was that uh, uh, I know the two McLarens wrecked because uh, Torpedo Danny Kvyat. That's, I'm not. I'm not saying I. That's not a hate hate towards him, but just yeah, that's just it. But I mean, yeah. So that was the race weekend right there. So we got an off week, which, like I said on Twitter, the most boring Sunday of the year. But I'll try to have something up. So I uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.